the rotation of this finger here, the, the little finger, so just to show you what it's going to do, we are going to use a control object and create our own key. These are keys, guys, like translate Z, rotate X. These are keys. We're going to create our own key. And when we drag the keys backwards and forwards between a couple of values, the finger's going to curl like this. So at the moment we need to uh, rotate it manually by selecting all the joints and doing that, etc, etc, but we're going to use a key instead. And to do that, firstly, I want to create a control object, so go to create in text, and an X is absolutely fine, it's just one curve. Move it up towards the hand. Alright, easy enough. So we don't need any of these keys here. We don't need them simply simple as that. So the X is just going to be the controller. Um, to get rid of these, we can go to Edit, Channel Control, and these are all the keys that I've shown at the moment. Just move them to the center, non-keyable, hidden, which means you can't key them, they're hidden. <laughs> as simple as that. So close it. And have I made the same mistakes I did last time? Nope. Last time I, I um, removed them all from the text itself. So keep an eye on that, guys. Select the curve. So now the curve's got no... Um, keys basically we want to create our own key and to do that go to edit add attribute long name so let's just call this finger one if I can select the thing sorry guys finger done it again finger one underscore control it's a float we're gonna do it between a set of uh, numbers so the minimum float is going to be well, we can be anything, guys. Minus 1 to 1, minus 10 to 10. In this case, it's going to be minus 10 to 10. All right? And the default value is 0. And uh, the default value is just in this position here. It's going to just be 0. So if we can go on Add and just quit, quit this. Our finger 1 control is uh, now in there. So 0 at the moment. All right, simple as that. So the next thing we need to do is create the set driven key. And to do that, we need our animation preset open. Go to Animate, uh, Set Driven Key, and Set. Opens up this complicated window. <laughs> and just to, to uh, explain things a little bit, um, we have the driver and the driven. All right. So the driver in this case is the thing we're going to manipulate. The so the finger one control, and the thing that is driven is well, what this is going to manipulate the control. So the joints itself. So the driver is the um, the control itself, the driven is the thing it manipulates basically. So we need to set up this relationship between this key and the joints. And to do that, we firstly need to give it a driver, which is the X thing and the finger control. So load driver. Okay, so curve one finger control. And the driven is going to be these joints. So select them. You can also do this in your outliner, guys. If you go to Window Outliner, you can do it like that. But with all our joints selected, go Load Driven. All right. So all these joints, and just to double check things, we want to manipulate the Y rotation, so which will animate our finger. So rotate Y. That's the one. So all right. Let's go back to our finger control for a sec. When it's at zero, I want all of these to be this um, Y rotation, basically. So we can key that straight away. Um, so we can key. We've all, we've automatically set up the relationship between the control and the joints already. So when this is at zero, the joints will be in this position. Let's do another one. So when the finger control is at minus ten, for example, um, we can. Okay, let's select all these again. when the controls at minus 10 I want the finger to be at the maximum it can curl so about here let's say don't need to intercept with the hand I'd say about there that do key it again simple as that and uh, the maximum which is 10 we could put go put out a little bit maybe so it's a bit unrealistic but we might want to do it in the future so <laughs> if we go to X and change it to 10 Okay, we need to change the value to 10 firstly, and uh, once again, select our joints, move them 
back a bit boom key done so simple as that guys and uh, let's select our X and let's control it and as you can see as we control it it bends by the way I'm just middle mouse dragging and it's as simple as that guys that's how we're going to animate for example um, put it to zero its default position okay, frame one um, where is it animation add the key let's go to frame 24 oh didn't want that to happen um, frame 24 uh, add the key select this finger control and we want it to grab the whatever it's drag grabbing so shrink this down to frame for 24 play wrong way <laughs> and uh, simple as that guys so we can animate by using set driven keys and I thought this was a lot simpler than the IK handles so we need to do is select our control object and play about with our fingers finger control so um, shall I do another one in this video really quickly I think I should <laughs> just so it drives home so we've set up our animation we just need to delete it um, select the finger control delete the frame delete this frame okay now we haven't got any animations let's run through this again so I want to animate this finger now and to do that I just wanna okay this video might take a bit longer guys sorry skin detach the skin to start with so just to tweak these bones out a little bit let's just move them down okay and that looks alright straighten it up right so that's our default position alright and let's just move this into the center a bit more okay that'd do so we want to rotate all these so let's just double check the rotation yep yeah, so it's going to rotate in like that alright guys um, so in our X let's create another finger control add a attribute finger 2 control it's going to be a float and exactly the same values again 10 to minus 10 or minus 10 to 10 alright so boom finger controls added and now we need to set up the set driven key to do that go to animate uh, set driven key set and for the driver this time it's going to be the, again the finger to control so load driver boom and uh, let's do select all these the joints being the driven load driven again alright so select all these and want to rotate the Y rotation and immediately want to key it because when the finger 2 controls at 0 we want the fingers to be at 0 or oh, this is the default position uh, so let's go back to our X it's hiding back there when this is at minus 10 I want all of our joints select them again to be at the most position which is about there I think I should have skinned it before I did this key it again when finger when this is at 10 let's move them back a little bit key close and uh, simple as that so just to double check things finger 1 control was working good finger 2 control and the last key didn't get set so <laughs> when fingers at minus or not minus 10 when it's at 10 the maximum value boom key it so let's see returned a result of one so I think it's true so that'll work let's try again finger two alright so there you go it bends backwards bends forwards alright guys and whoops remember to let the control do the default value which is zero and we can do this for anything we can make another one for the rotation so we can uh, kind of wiggle the fingers from left and right etc so I'm not going to do another finger that'll be it for this video <laughs> alright so the driver and the driven 
to create a set driven key all right and this is pretty advanced Maya stuff I didn't really want to get into it but it's the best solution and if we're going to do something we might as well do it right all right guys so for the thumb it's pretty simple as well just rotate it in the whatever rotation that is the Z rotation all right guys simple as that so we can move on from this whole this stuff now let's create some animations go back into our unity project and continue from there thanks for watching guys I hope this helped you out like I said there are other videos of this on YouTube if you want to go there um, if you don't understand it but I think this is I think that's a pretty good example anyway so thanks for watching the video guys see you